unbreakable records in NBA history. I know that you guys know these records exist, but you probably don't know just how unbreakable they really are. And today, with a lot of math and data and wisdom and technology involved in the making of this video, I'm going to explain just how unbreakable these NBA records are and why these records won't be broken in any of our who's watching this video any of our entire lifetimes. Make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications bell. So help me out a little bit without further ado. Let's get right into the video. First record is going to be LeBron's scoring record. You knew that LeBron record was going to be on here. He is currently at 39,566 total points. And uh, you would think that with the uptick in scoring, saying that, oh, scoring's going up, there's definitely going to be someone in the next couple years to break this record. And that's just not true. Now, we're going to go for pace. I'm going to take it down low. Let's say LeBron James in his career with 42,000 plus points with 13,000 assists and rebounds, which is just insane to even think about. But focusing on the main point, many people such as Luka, Shea, Wimby, Giannis, or some very, very young player, you would think that they could beat LeBron James at this record. Now, let me just use Victor Wimbanyama as an example because I'll face it, he's literally the only one who could even come close to this. He's averaging 19 points per game as a 20-year-old rookie in the moment. So let's say Victor Wimbanyama plays 70 games per season with the same average of 19.6 points per game. Just this season, let's say he plays 70 games this year. That would give him 1,373 total points for this season. Now, in order to break LeBron's record, which is a very low projection, for the rest of Victor Wimbenyama's career, he would have to play 70 games a season, averaging 30 points for the next 20 years to even come within reaching distance of LeBron's record. Now, there's going to be nobody, and I mean nobody on this planet yet, that's going to break this record. Just imagine that. First of all, you have to stay in the NBA for 20 years. Not a lot of players. You can literally count the amount of players on your fingers that have been in the league for 20 years. Then you have to average 30 points per game for that long. So not only are you playing for a long time, you're also one of the best players in the league for a long time. Then you have to play 70 games. And we know that back in the older NBA, maybe playing 70 games a season was a little bit more doable. Nowadays, it's rare you get your superstars playing 65, and they had to even enforce a rule that required people to play 65 plus games per season to get postseason awards or awards that get out after the regular season, such as the MVP, All NBA First Team, and things like that. Now, the player that is going to break LeBron's record, I'm going to keep it a buck with you guys. This person's probably not even born yet. This person is probably in his mother's womb right now, having no idea the amount of excellence he's going to achieve in his entire lifetime. Anyone who's watching this video, anyone who's my age, 18 years old, anyone who's watching this video, I'm going to sit here and personally tell you that LeBron record, that LeBron James record, it's what you're going to be living knowing and it's what you're going to die knowing. There's nobody in our lifetime that is going to break this record. Nobody. No one. Absolutely no one. Luka Dantich would have to average what he's averaging right now for at least the next 15 plus years. That's 32 points per game. He'd have to do that for another 15 years to come in reaching distance with LeBron James's record. I don't think people know how incredible that is. How mathematically impossible it should be to score 40,000 plus points in an NBA career. 82 games a season. You have to play at the top of your game for 21, 22 plus seasons. You have to be 39 years old, still being one of the NBA scoring leaders while also averaging seven points and seven assists. And speaking of that, this dude's not just going to score 42,000 points. This is only the points we're talking about. This dude's also going to manage to have 13K rebounds and 13K assists by the end of his career. This guy is literally the most productive, by far, the most productive NBA player in history. He's one of the best rebounders, he's one of the best scorers, he's one of the best assist men, and he's also been one of the best defenders. I just want people to get a sense of how incredible some of this stuff LeBron James is doing, bro. And to get to our next unbreakable record, it is the most games scoring at least 10 points. Now I know a lot of LeBron haters out here are going to be like, Micah, why are you talking about LeBron James so much? And I'm going to say because the dude is doing stuff that really, really shouldn't be possible in an NBA career. 
it's another unbeatable record. Now, most games in a row scoring double digits, LeBron, as of the record of this video, it is 1,188 games in a row scoring at least 10 points. Now, a lot of you are going to ask, how hard could it be to score 10 points for an NBA superstar? Well, second place is Michael Jordan with 866 straight games. And if you're aware, Michael Jordan is literally one of the best scorers of all time. I mean, the guy had 10 seasons averaging 30 plus points per game. He had 866 straight games with double digit points. That's 322 games less than LeBron James' total right now. Now, I know 322 doesn't seem like a big number, but you divide 322 by 82 games a season, every single game, every single year. Guys, 322 games is four seasons worth of NBA games. Four years. And, and that's going based off us thinking that a player is going to play 32 or excuse me, 82 games every single season. That is four years worth of games. That's how much the gap is between first place and second place. Bro, come on. You, you can't look at this stuff and just say it's not incredible. The last time LeBron James scored double figures was January 5th, 2007. Bro, I was one years old in 2007. That is 17 years ago. Think of, think of all the things that have transpired since 2007. Since basically the start of 07. This guy has scored double digit points in every single game he's played from January 5th, 07. Bro, this guy, 17 years is a most NBA players' entire careers. Chris Bosch was able to get drafted into the league, win a couple rings, and retire and be inducted into the Hall of Fame in LeBron's entire career. That's how incredible that is. This dude got drafted in the same year. He played on the same team. He retired and was inducted into the Basketball Hall of Fame within the course of a man's career. That's just, dude, come on, bro. 17 years, like, again, 17 years is longer than Michael Jordan's entire NBA career. Like, if you... If you get every single year Michael Jordan played in the NBA, you get 15 seasons. LeBron scored double-digit points in every game he's played for 17. This guy, this guy's streak is longer than MJ's career. I don't think people know how crazy that is. And MJ's not some random guy we're talking about. This guy is literally one of the GOATs, if not the GOAT of the NBA. Now, what would it take to break this record? And trust me, this is purely hypothetical because... There's no way anyone's going to break this record because LeBron is just extending it and it would take someone playing 70 games a year until the 2041 NBA season to approach this record. 2041. I will be 36 years old in 2041. Luka Doncic will be 41 years old in 2041. Victor Wimbenyama will be 37 in 2041. 37. A dude who just got drafted. You're essentially saying that Victor Wimbenyama would have to have his entire career from 2024 all the way to 2041 in order to come within reaching distance of that streak. That, ladies and gentlemen, is an unbreakable record. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you. Like, subscribe. Of course, I wish you nothing but the best. Stay loved. Stay blessed. I'm going to end this video. Thank you for watching.